formation service commanders, the chairman of the traditional rulers council. Ladies and gentlemen, you are welcome to the 16th session of the State Executive Council. And let me use this opportunity firstly to welcome the new members of this council, in particular the our new GTL commander, General Akewe, uh, who has since resumed. But this is the very first Security Council meeting uh, that he is attending. I know that the, the, the Air Force commander uh, is also relatively new. Uh, this is also the very first uh, Security Council meeting. And uh, uh, all the others uh, were known faces. But let me use this opportunity to sincerely welcome you all to Bayelsa State, to Glory of All Lands. And let me also uh, welcome you to the State Security Council. In this council, for those of you who are new, who have a or a tradition of very robust and frank uh, discussion on issues that pertain to our brief, i.e., keeping the state and our nation safe within the geographical borders of our state. Let me assure you that we have a tradition as a government of supporting what the security and law enforcement agencies do here. As a government, we place very high premium on security and the maintenance of law and order. Our state is relatively safe as a result of the sacrifices and contributions of your officers and men, and as a result of the contributions and the collaboration of the citizenry of the state. But then we can all work harder to make it even safer. I'd like to welcome you all and assure you of our government's readiness to collaborate and support the very important work that you have been sent here to do. Uh, you are all from very distinguished backgrounds. I've heard a lot, read some briefs also, which clearly show that uh, membership of the Security Council will clearly uh, add value to the work that well, here to do. So on this note, I'd like to welcome you all. Uh, for all of our members, I thank you all for the work that we have all been doing together, uh, which has clearly shown in terms of the relative peace and security that now prevails in our states. Are we there yet where we want to be in a totally crime-free environment? No. We have laid the infrastructure, we have set the goals, and we are all uh, collaborating effectively to ensure that uh, we keep this state and our country and make it a safer place. So on this note, ladies and gentlemen, I welcome you all to this 16th session. And let me, before I end my brief remarks, also use this opportunity to pay tribute to your wonderful predecessors in office who, while they sat here, uh, worked closely with us and did their best to support <coughs> the cause of security and law and order in this land. I have directed a letter of appreciation the issue, and we have a way of saying thank you to them in our little way. Uh, I want to wish them very happy years uh, in their career ahead. Ladies and gentlemen, you are welcome to the 16th session. I want to stand on all existing protocols, sir. You just had your 16th uh, Security Council meeting in the state. Could you please kindly brief the press? What was the outcome of the meeting? <clears throat> well, the meeting was quite successful. 
there were a lot of issues that were discussed, particularly the issue of pipeline vandalization, the EU issue of bunkering, among other sundry crimes that are emerging in the state and the one that were existing there before. It is uh, expected at this time that um, every hand must be on deck to, to address these uh, problems. Uh, the perpetrators of this crime should understand that the time has come for them to hands off. Well, in addition to what the general said, the House observed that Bayasa State is relatively peaceful. Uh, people are going about their lawful businesses, and the few challenges we had have been properly addressed, particularly the challenge of kidnapping. We had two very, very outstanding kidnap cases, that of uh, Chifinegite in uh, Toke and that of a uh, lady in the Diebu, Southern Nigeria. All the suspects have been rounded up and are now with the police awaiting prosecution. This, these are one of the things we discuss in the Security Council meeting. Yes. Thank you, sir. Thank you. CP, sir, yeah. could, you, could you identify what must have enabled people to capture? Because it's not difficult, truly speaking. Well, um, I, will, I will give uh, the glory to Almighty God and then the credit to the state government and the police and other law abiding, other law enforcement agencies in the state. And the good people of Baeza State also, who gave us useful information that led to the rescue of uh, those uh, victims. And the state government in particular funded all the ministries who underwent to the rivers, even outside the state. They gave us a fund that enabled us to travel to those places and to look for those uh, kidnappers. Then other security agencies, we had a very, very strong synergy. So we, we work together. We are, are, I can't tell you it's only police. All of us work together to make sure that uh, all those victims are yeah, successfully rescued. Yes. So finally, do you have any advice for members of the state, the state as a whole? The good people of Bayasa State have been so wonderful. But we want to sensitize them more on the need to partner with the security agencies. In the in conformity with the concept of community policy, which which is which requires partnership with law enforcement agencies. They should come out and give us useful information that will enable us to nab these hoodlums who are parading everywhere. They know them. They are in the society. You can't tell me they, they, are, they are spirits. They are not ghosts. They are human beings. So we want the good people of Biasa State to enable us to, to help us give us useful information that will help the law enforcement agencies to nab the school and to make the society peaceful for law abiding citizens to go about their lawful businesses unmolested. Thank you for your time, Commission. Thank you. You are welcome. <laughs> Sir, I believe you also have something to add to what the two security hey, personnel have said. Absolutely. Example, Absolutely. Um, I'd like to say that on the part of government, we are quite satisfied as to the uh, safety uh, and security by us are enjoying. Uh, basically, that was the objective of government to restore uh, peace and tranquility in the state to support the efforts of development, infrastructural, human capacity building, and uh, the rest. Thus far, we're satisfied as to the fact that this has been delivered, and that's why we're experiencing the enormous growth and development we're experiencing as by all sense. Uh, another decision of interest uh, to the general populace is the resuscitation of the Bayelsa volunteers. Uh, when we came in to government, uh, certain situations on ground led to the uh, suspension of the Bayelsa volunteers we met then. But now I am happy to announce to persons and the citizenry that one of the major decisions that arrived at today is the uh, reactivation of the Bayelsa volunteers. Now, having taken that decision, uh, we're going into the process of putting the structures 
in place so that we can start hit the ground running with the desired Biosa volunteer that have been repackaged to support development and complement the efforts of the Restoration Administration.